Yo, SME RB, man, in the house. Tax and death. What it do? What it do in so. Cali. Niggas in Cali. In a Lambo. In Cali. In a Lambo, man. Yeah. Every time we pull out here, we gone. Last time trap we style. Yeah, we gonna trap and style. Being Lee, whatever we. Whatever we come out out of town and shit, wherever we go, we gonna make sure we do that shit in style. Man, I'm fans of the music, man. I love to hear the lyrics and actually see it in real life, man. There's so many bitch ass niggas rapping and like lying to see people really uh, living up to what they're doing or whatever, man. It's attractive, it man. This shit fake, attractive. Snoop. <laughs> oh, nigga. This shit like this nigga illusion. Just told me, you know what? That's how Damn, you this just shit told fake, Santa Claus man. Ain't real, man. man. This shit fake, man. This just advertising, man. This shit just entertainment, man. We like, man. we like them niggas on TV, man. Them niggas okay, faking, okay. we faking too. Damn, yeah. You gotta fake it till you make it, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck it. Speaking into existence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I still I love the music anyways, man. Mm-hmm. I, love, I love the vibe. Man, how is it being that pop? Man, first of all, when I think of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I know a lot of niggas from California, man. We think of like, you know, the Packers and like white people. Yeah, they I had no they idea. Think that, they think that shit like a motherfucker, but <laughs> yeah, I think of Brett like, Brett Favre, nigga, and uh, Aaron Rodgers and some fans. And, shit. and then I see yeah. on YouTube looking around, man, that shit looks uh, rougher than South Central Los Angeles, man. That shit crazy out there. A lot of people don't know about Milwaukee, but shit. That's where we from. That shit really the trenches. So that's what we doing right now. Everybody, it's like a movement. Like we putting it in their face. Everybody think this the cheese state. Yeah, we get cheese out here. Baby, baby. Oh, oh, baby. That's what we do. We weed, get bucks, man. Mm-hmm. Motherfucking weed, man. They, they ain't even caught on all the way yet, but they, they bite. I've been seeing other people biting this shit, so shit. We're yeah. making moves. Yeah, flattery is the greatest form. Like, uh, you see, you inspiring motherfuckers, and you know you're on the right shit. And y'all sure. music is definitely inspiring. You hear it in other people's music. I've been listening to y'all so much mm-hmm. recently, like, the sound of other people down there, and I could tell that they're inspired. Some of these other songs are inspired by, like, they fuck yeah. with y'all. Yeah, they fuck with us. We fuck with them, though. They fuck with us heavy, though. A lot of love in Ohio, Florida. Like, the whole Midwest really fucking with us. St. Louis. So Is we, those places close enough for y'all to drive to to do shows and shit? Yeah, I be driving out there doing little shows. I done been in Ohio. I done been in Michigan doing shows. I done been... Um, St. Louis shit. I mean, we getting features from all over, though. Motherfuckers calling us from Pennsylvania, everywhere. (laughs) Yeah. South Carolina, North Carolina. Yep. Man, y'all put y'all different twists on it, man. Texas. Y'all put a different twist on it. I I love it, man. You be killing them hooks, man. Niggas hear pieces of the hooks on my stories and they always what's that song what's that song oh, yeah. it's the sound that they're looking for it's the description that you're giving of the streets where it just resonates with people there like different man hold energy. up who is that man, that's that different energy I'm on Trish I ain't lazy I'm on Trish I ain't lazy <laughs> I'm on baby man it just starts <laughs> it just gets you man Man, I'm in my car, man, I'm riding, and I hear my nigga say, I don't want walk heart. I've been looking for the tricks. It warned my heart, man. That, that line fucking warmed my heart. Man, for real. I'm trying to get high, man. I ain't even trying to play. Like, I'm trying to get there. I, I always compare trish. walk to sativa. Yeah, like That's I'm like an indica it. nigga. So. Exactly. You see what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So. I'm an indica sativa nigga, too. cool, though. Ain't nothing wrong. It's cool. Sativa. I want to feel it. Like, I'm going to get there. Yeah. So exactly. Trish, man. Yeah, like, exactly. We fuck with that Trish out there, though. Heavy. Everybody on that Trish, that motherfuckers be looking for it at first. It wasn't like that, though. You know how shit is when it come around. Like, how that green was. Niggas was skeptical of that green. Now, yeah. Nigga sipping that shit, turning it to a turtle on my back. <laughs> man, with here, turtle. with here, Trish had a certain shame on it. In the beginning, when everybody everywhere hella yeah, bougie, because no, it, it was new and it tastes different, they like man, hell yeah. Nah. And then little by little, like it became a thing, like how people had to sneak and say, you know what, 
after everybody got that free money, niggas was like, man, Trump yeah. ain't that bad. That's how niggas, certain <laughs> niggas yeah, was just like, Trish that's ain't that's that how bad. Him. Trump got a lot of niggas some money, man. Nig- that they ain't never niggas seen, was scared right. to say that they I, outright I take- liked it. So niggas was like, man, it's it's cool. And little by little, once they see other niggas fuck with it, the love came. Where that's what made me embrace it right off the bat. Because I always take, like, the cold, hard truth that niggas try to ignore and I put that shit right, like, on Front Street. So when everybody was like, Trish, shame, and I'm like, man, fuck all that shit y'all talking about. I like about. the Trish. I take that I take shit. the Trish over anything. Yeah, like, my, my big brother be having having a mortgage, all that shit. But I be like, bro, like, you, got, you got the Trish? Like, I want the Trish. Exactly. So that's why I know when I come here, like, man, I'm calling Snoop because I want some Trish. Yeah. I meant that shit. I <laughs> smiled <laughs> like a motherfucker when I heard <laughs> that. I just happened to be listening. I'm like, what? My voice put me in a fucking song? I was drinking so when I heard it. Mm-hmm. But then it just left you for real. Man. <laughs> like that shit but was real. <laughs> that same thing, like that's why I said I feel in the music. I feel like y'all take certain truths and you put it like front street. But you dress it up nice though. You dress yeah, it up yeah, real nice. Hell yeah, this bitch talking about I, I, I forgot my hat by her crib and shit. That's <laughs> a long ass time ago. Bitch talking about I got my I left my hat by her crib. I'm like, um, what I say? I left my hat by her crib. She probably thinks she's special. Bitch, you ain't the only BBL that I'm sleeping with. You know, <laughs> some shit what? like that. But yeah, like we putting that shit on a song. Like if it happened to me that day. Putting it on a song. If I was in a lamb going down Mill Rose, I'm putting it on a song. Got to. Man, uh, mm. if Sprite had a commercial, they, if, uh, if Sprite had a, they, uh, I'll bring, if Sprite had a commercial, you bring Dirty Sprite back. Nigga, I feel the same way about BBLs, man. You hey. got near a BBL <laughs> spokesman, my hey, nigga. Like, you make, BBLs, yeah, man. exactly. And it makes niggas feel people pride like and respect in the like, BBL. And you taking the shame now. off of the BBL. Yeah, yeah, that's some fly shit. Taking the shame yeah, off I like of the to BBL. Do, I, I like to do shit that niggas ain't doing. You feel <laughs> exactly. Me? Not like I just, that. I just wear a whole true religion fit. Like you feel me, motherfuckers <laughs> looking at me crazy, but then they mm. see I got it on. They like, man, yeah, he might be on or something and then six months later when they smell it they gonna have one on but then yeah, by then you'll be on some whole other shit by then yeah that's that's really what be, it is do your own shit fuck what anybody else think mm-hmm. niggas be hating anyway shit oh my hate mama. anyway fuck it and i didn't want to give them any attention but i just know like i never been to milwaukee but i know being from a place like that being as popular as you are i know that shit comes with hate because Fuck, like, it's got to be competitive. It's a lot smaller than here, and y'all are fucking known yeah, all over Yeah, Milwaukee, they, 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 place. like, it's like they scared to show a nigga love, like, you feel me? Like, like how you was saying, like, until you on your way out the door, like, like, nigga, like, chicken got that motherfucker sewed up, so it's like everybody love chicken, but... But they don't love nobody else. But but they'll play you like, but they yeah. ain't expressing it they to you like. Show that like I won't never see no niggas from Milwaukee like really post my music or nothing like that. Yeah. Everybody who posts my shit be like other states. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Other and people that don't really know a nigga show love. More exactly. Than, like, I'm way in California and I know y'all some fly niggas. But this is the thing. Them niggas know y'all some fly niggas too, but they so close to y'all, I think it's intimidating. No, it, it'd be like, it'd be like, man, I ain't finna dick ride them niggas. Like, exactly. I, I, I listen to them niggas, but I ain't it, finna ride that dick. I ain't finna post that story. Like, shit, it, I, I, I know them niggas, or, or them exactly. niggas ain't nobody. You feel me? Them it, niggas, local it, niggas around here, but no, nigga, we in like 25 states. <laughs> exactly. That, and that's normally how it works. It's somebody from, uh, it's other states where niggas are not ashamed. Mm-hmm. To play your shit all day and tell you when they see you, man. Let me get a picture. Know, like, you raw as a motherfucker, man. And they they gonna tag a nigga every day. Swear to God, yeah. faithfully fuck with a nigga. They gonna tag a nigga. Same couple people they gonna tag a motherfucker every day because they yeah. fucking with this shit. They ain't ashamed to show that they fuck with this shit. Exactly, and that's who was for. That's yeah. That's who yeah, was motherfuckers for. ain't gonna show you no love till they feel like man, dude got a deal. Dude on his way out of here. Now I'm finna suck his dick, like exactly. Cause he might grab, he might take exactly. me with him, like no, exactly. <laughs> nigga, you man. weren't showing love three months ago. Yeah, I don't want to share nigga shit, but 
it's all love though. Man, I'll cl- fuck with everybody, I ain't gonna lie. Clout is like lotion. So when you uh, go and you gain your clout, man, niggas want to get next to you so they could rub off that into their bodies, and they take a shine from uh, being able to say that they fucked with you yeah. on the way up. So yeah, and your music is definitely on that level where motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. I feel like it just gonna have to be like, man, those the homies, man. I fuck with them niggas every day. Like the same niggas I was low key hating mm-hmm. will be bragging the bitches. Like, man, I've been fucking with that nigga since we was nine mm-hmm. or whatever. <laughs> the music has that level where it changes to where niggas is like just proud to say that you went to that school right there. Like, oh shit, you heard that nigga? Man, we used to be right there. Man, I don't fuck with niggas. I had Brody check that temp. That new seven series, I heard cruising like a ship, nigga. For real, exactly, Fuck niggas. You got one for damn near everything, man. I'll be hearing these fucking, yeah, man. I ride around in my car and I hear these streets, and I'm like, "There's another one, man." Nah, baby, gotta keep going, gotta keep pushing, it, like shit, because you never know, like you know what I'm saying. Tomorrow they might, it might be the day, like man, this shit just took off, like you never know. Exactly, for real, it's it's night and day. It is night and day. Man. They say nigga dinner one song away every time. Like so, shit, you never know. Mm. And once that one song hitting, people could actually smell what you cooking. Yeah, they then go they go back see. to exactly. They, they go, go back, back to the see, old like, man, shit. shit they love like it. That. Like oh, this nigga been fire his <laughs> whole shit life. Been like that. Swear. <laughs> they, they Swear. See. But you know, it's all in the plan. Nigga, I did it with y'all. I went back to old shit, like, looking from, like, where this started at. Like, I wanted to see the first beginnings, like, so I could see how far niggas have evolved, man. But uh, musical talent, it's, it's like a God-given gift, man, for real. Like, sometimes motherfuckers, like, just don't got it, man. You got to have that voice. You got to have that personality, that presentation, man. And it glues the people, man. I guarantee on the little clips that I showed of my story, people look like, man, if they ain't up on y'all, like, man, who are those guys? Right, hell yeah. yeah. Cause that's what we gotta do. Y'all is reeking more of out it. there. Y'all reeking <laughs> of get it. More out there. That's all. More exposure. And they really grasp this shit. Yep. I'm honored to have these guys on my couch, on my dead mama. I don't mind saying that to the camera, man. I'm just happy to have here with you. these shit. niggas on my couch right now. Sipping some tricks with me, man. That's the big brother, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Man, what would you say is the first outright difference from the niggas that you've met down here compared to the niggas where you come from? Well, I ain't met nothing but plugs down here, you know. (laughs) (laughs) Don't fuck with niggas like that. I ain't met nothing but plugs. I need someone called Snoop. That's what I'm saying. I don't really know too many LA niggas or niggas. I got some niggas out in the bay though. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They they players. They fuck with us. But like I said, I know everybody off that one thing. So you know. Yeah, hell yeah. So it ain't the average motherfuckers in the street. Like how you know the average motherfuckers where y'all grew up. There don't be no vacation for real. It be like business. Okay. We working. We just shot a video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Work. Exactly. Yeah, we need video beds and shit like that. Motherfuckers with studios. Studios, we coming to work. We ain't coming to fuck around. Exactly. Shit. Exactly. Professional. Niggas ain't doing this shit or taking a chance to do it. So shit, why not take advantage? Yeah. And do the shit the right way. Yeah. Shit. And if I go somewhere, wherever I go, I'm trying to get it in on the music side. So work every time. I don't give a fuck, nigga. If I'm in Alaska, like man, we're the studio. I'm about to shoot a video at this motherfucker. Like. Yeah. They finna see the mountains. I got to see the shit. <laughs> they got yeah, to. That's beautiful. Hell yeah. That's great work ethic. <laughs> work ethic. Hell yeah. I, I ain't seen no hoes or nothing, though, nigga. We, maybe you got to <laughs> go out to the club or something and bump into the hoes, but I ain't seen no hoes. Like, they all over, man. They all over. Man, even our our real, real hoes are like, they like top notch, like. Like, Drake would save some of those bitches. A nigga like that, that nigga would go <laughs> grab some of the bitches. Like, you don't have to do this no more. Like, oh my baby. we got some that look like that. Shit. Nice <laughs> hoes. Nice. <laughs> nice. We, 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 we got about 
20 bitches in the city. Like, man, them 20 is it. Like, that's 20, air, the whole city stabbing them. Like, the I'm, whole city trying to stab them. Like, I've been to places like that. And yeah, that man. drives the murder rate up high. For real. Because some niggas' <laughs> emotions are tied to these hoes, man. And it takes life to a different level, man. I swear to God, man. man shit. You got up 20 there. bitches, nigga. Take your pick, man. This bitch picking ball. She got probably got like five good niggas out of a thousand trappers. Dollars and niggas said they getting money. She probably she got two. I'm gonna keep real. Like, she got three. Yeah, she got two at least. At, least at the two. least, she got two. Like she got two niggas that she think out here going crazy. Mm-hmm. Damn, out of them twenty, she, so the, she got two to three. That take the number. Way so the numbers down. favor the hoes. Like, man, that's a lot of passing around. <laughs> the numbers favor the hoes. We got like a lot more bitches here, and then our even our upper level ones. Those are hoes too. They're just a upper level hoe. They they're, they're in hoes. Condo. They're exactly, my nigga. It's the same ball game. They expensive. It's the I same. know them hoes can get expensive because my brother, I ain't gonna say his name, but my brother, man, he he pay two G's just to fuck, but he rich as a motherfucker. Yeah, he got exactly. He's just trying to get it's it right nothing. Up to the exactly. Business. And like that, <laughs> I see that as a pair. Of nigga, nigga, buy a pair of fucking Gucci or Louis shoes because you want them. So if you want them for that moment, you want them for that moment. Or whatever, you ain't for the praise. Yeah. Man, we here for a limited time with this shit. You can't take it with you, man. You gotta live mm-hmm. it up during that time. You never know when it's over. Fuck, <laughs> fuck that. Gotta live. If you don't do nothing else, live that shit up. Take some chances. Take some risks. Hell yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Getting the same results, bro. You better take some risks. Sit some Trish. Come get this nice fit from my brother Snoop. It's only Trish merch. This shit fire. Man. Motherfucker gonna start seeing me in this shit a lot more. Hell yeah. All different flavors. I'm gonna yeah. make them put them flavors out for y'all lives. Man, you gonna Every have time shit. I come, I get laced you with gonna it. have gonna shit, man, around. before it hit the streets, my boy. I swear. Because this shit a nice little brand. Like, for real, I ain't gonna lie. I like this shit. Man, <laughs> we really live it, man. Y'all, yeah, if I that, didn't that, know man. y'all... The way that y'all speak the music, y'all are brand reps. Man, I got like, it. for real. I, I got Niggas it. do not speak on it, and I swear I know from the wave, as fly as y'all make it sound, as the music grows, you're going to hear more niggas embrace Tris and start mm-hmm. speaking on it. It's like, oh, the real niggas is talking about this shit? Mm-hmm. They're going to start to drop in their music. Y'all That's been on that be. shit since day one. It's like a wave. They just going to follow the trend. Exactly. Like, That's all they do. Exactly. I'm gonna you gotta be the one to, to set to the, the trend. new fire purple come out. That's how you win. You set the trend, and everybody exactly. follow it. And you, gotta set, you, gotta, you gotta set right. the tone in this shit. Like mm-hmm. I, it ain't like so you gotta, gotta play your own key. Like man, do key sound good over there? Is a bitch at the beginning of the board at the keyboard? You thought it was the middle that was sounding good till you hear yeah. that. Till you hear that, that, that one little exactly. note. I do doing it down yeah. there. He got that bitch sounding good. I have. I've mm-hmm. heard. Nigga, I've heard some beats that I didn't know some producers made, like say Dre or Scott Storch sat down and they play like a piano piece, and then it goes into the recognized sound. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker's a genius. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what you're like. I didn't even know this nigga made this. And you got to set the tone, that. man. Yeah. Exactly. You got to be different, do your own shit. You got to come with your movement. Fuck motion. Motion, them they're like one place. place like but you come with that movement they like man this nigga everywhere he got yeah. movement some like people, some shit everybody want to follow like man he put yeah. some big movement like. man and i think it's time for it because i'm kind of tired of some of the shit that we've all seen a million times like once niggas get a memo man mm-hmm. niggas get a memo and you yep. see the same i don't thing mean to here, cut you off thing. but like yeah that movement we pushing that movement because we just at the studio one night, Sauce like Sauce Walker like man, telling him he like we saying something about motion like yeah we got motion woo woo woo, woo. he like nah nigga y'all got movement he like yeah. y'all niggas ain't just in one spot y'all niggas everywhere y'all doing this y'all doing exactly. that y'all got movement I don't want to hear y'all say y'all got no motion no more y'all got God. movement <laughs> oh yeah baby. exactly exactly that nigga said he meant it too like man stop everything stop the room. Yeah, exactly. Another trendsetter. Shout out to whole TSF to my boys. Hell yeah! I got to tell that nigga. Go peso. 
I got to tell Gooch. that nigga sitting Gooch. right in this room. Wood. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Come on now. All of my brothers. Maserati. When, Let's go when juice now. prices was going through the roof, I'm talking about walk went from 250 to 300 to 350. When it got to 450, I'm like, damn, where's this shit going to stop at? I'm looking like, will it ever get the And Sauce himself went on the internet and really Damn. told niggas the truth he and told them they was house. acting like <laughs> bitches. He made a video, a rant, and uh, I fuck with the streets. I fuck with the sauce. And as a person that actually had some, I'm like, mm, what's going to be the effect of this? Like, I felt guilty because maybe I had got 450 for it or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> maybe or whatever. But, nigga, I literally seen, like, nigga, a few days later where niggas was like, I'm not paying that. And it literally came down. It literally came down. And I had to tell this nigga months later, like, nigga, you literally made an Instagram video and the streets felt it and was like, nigga, nah. And that shit dropped back down, I think, like 250 And that's a $200 drop, so yeah, that was fucking younger. nice. I don't know what it is now. I barely even fucking fuck with what that the shit. the green is out here. God. The green is expensive. Uh... Yeah, but it's still cheap compared to the walk, man. If the walk well, is, what like, is the green? I know that walk is around 300, 250 at bare minimum. Bare what is the minimum. green? Man, that shit is like 20 to 40 bucks, depending on 40 a line is crazy. Man, what? you in Los Angeles. You getting man, a four, you getting a four for 40 at the crib, like 40. And Probably 35, you really know. Man, him. hey, <laughs> it gets worse than that. I told it to you the nice way, man. This nigga's paying 50 and 60 for that shit. We need shit, to get man. a run on that shit. <coughs> bring some man. of that shit down here, man. Everybody's not connected like that. Yeah. Like, it's just this, it's I'm a lot bigger like here. That. No, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm saying as far as consumers on the streets. So you got people that are here about this shit in songs, and they'll pay the high just to get it because they don't know where it's at. Yeah, so that's Fine. where so that's where you, you go to those numbers. Like everybody's not gonna be like, oh, so great. Let me just call my partner. He got that orchard. Like they don't have that. It's not that easy here. If you grow up in the inner city like that, but then those are the motherfuckers that don't even have the money to afford that lifestyle. But then the money's mm -hmm. that people that got to afford that lifestyle, they're not connected to it. Right. So, so it's, that's it's the gap. To get it exactly, and that's where it pays. Yeah, but or the line is crazy though. <laughs> I gotta just say that. One time, I gotta say that one again. time. The only reason it's That's funny crazy. to me is because I know where y'all from, so it sounds funny. But <coughs> I'm telling you, I paid that not, shit though. Remember, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm about to say. It's a lot of niggas down here that will see it, and if I said something less, they would be upset. Like what? <laughs> like I paid that real, shit. I came down here and paid eighty for a man, deuce. A lot of niggas have paid. They paid more than that. They paid a hundred for a deuce, man. I'm telling you, like Damn. it's worse than that. Oh, Anything that you have paid down here, you've got a different respect on it because you, you, you just you don't know it because it's a lot different from where you come from. But man, gas is eight dollars a gallon down here, so it's just yeah. like. Uh, forty bucks to us, kind of like it ain't nothing. It's just two twenties, like it, it just <laughs> it ain't. That's crazy. It's not the same over there. Over Dang, your here. book ain't the same. That's man, value it's bad. Shit. It's bad. But people will tell you all over the world, like man, California is probably one of the most expensive places to live. On my most mama, living, yeah. on my mama. I'm telling That's why you about so many that. fucking bums out there. It's hard, nigga. That oh. house that I told you about is in the hood, man. That's a seven hundred thousand dollar house, oh. but that's just the average ghetto houses out here. Damn. It's seven, nigga. Uh, I have a place in Texas, and when I went to Texas, man, the first time that I stayed down there, I got this Airbnb, man. This fucking had a man cave. It was this fucking palace, nigga. The backyard could fit like twenty cars. So I don't know nothing about Texas. I just fucking I asked my bitch. Like, see how much this place costs. I'm thinking it's going to be like $1.3 or some shit. Nigga, that shit was like 280000 Nice-ass crib. Nice-ass crib. I was looking at. It's so big in Texas, though. That yeah. motherfucker is so it, big. They exactly. build the whole cities as we speak right now. I didn't been there a gang of times Building now. It. I love California, but I know when I walk off into the sunset, it will be at one of those houses in Texas. Nigga, it don't have to. What well, we're paying seven hundred thousand for, nigga, you could have you some Gates motorized with your initials on it, like down sure. here, from like being a hood, nigga. Exactly. 
Louisiana was like that. I just don't want to live down there. Uh, that water ain't shit to play with. Yeah, I ain't really been. I'm scared of that water. I ain't gonna lie. Water ain't shit to play with. Hell no. Ride uh, through that motherfucker. I'm talking about the water at the car. Like, man, I'm so goofy. We got to shake, man. Wrong, man. <laughs> nigga, we, we got a movement called Cali to the N.O., right? So we getting down there. We riding around in the car, man. Our nigga from New Orleans, we like nine deep in this fucking in the long sleeve. And I'm seeing a blue line on all the buildings. like, And I'm like, nigga, I didn't want to sound. I asked some niggas after a while. I'm like, nigga, what's that line that's like on everything? It's on trees. And bro looked at me like I was stupid. I'm like, he looked at my face. He could tell I had no idea. He was like, that's from, from Katrina. That's how high the water was. Fuck. And I was like, oh, my God. Nigga, Fuck. I would have died. All of those lines was taller than me. It was at the rims of houses and shit. And I was like, God damn. Shit. Nigga, that motherfucker flooded a week after we left. And I was like, oh, man. I don't know about Cali to the N.O. part two. Man, that shit dangerous, man. Yeah. That's we end up going you back. You can't fight water in the air. Nah, you can't. We end up going back. I love it out there, but like you said, that water is dangerous. Oh, whatever. That water dangerous. Fuck that water. I just can't do that water like that. Some places got tornadoes and hurricanes and all that type of weird ass shit, bro. Nigga, that's always been my greatest fear, a tornado. But a lot of people that are not from here, when I go to other states, they always be like, man, how do y'all deal with earthquakes? Like, mm. But, like, living here is kind of like... Y'all be having earthquakes? Yeah, yep, hell yeah. This is That's our natural disaster. You know how other people have snow? Yo, y'all got snow. Yeah. That, that ain't, ain't bad. Like, no, nah, but snow can be deadly, snow. though, to some people. Like, man, niggas in Texas. Hell nah. Snow ain't got shit on, Texas, no, on they nothing. Had, like, a 270-car crash pile up a couple of years back, man, uh, a lot of people. That's because uh, that they ain't used to the snow. Like, like snow. Like, if you from the Midwest, you used to the snow. Like, so motherfuckers know how to perform. Motherfuckers know what to do when it get to snowing like a motherfucker. Sometimes oh. you can get like ten feet of snow, but motherfuckers know how to play it. Like, so it's, it's a snow if, day. We we damn near ain't finna go outside. So if not the snow, then what is you guys' natural disaster? Because everybody has... Just the snow. Just the snow. Exactly. Bro. That's why I said, like, it's cold. still a natural disaster, but it's bearable. It's not... An earthquake can shake your house to the ground. You might die. A tornado, you might die. A hurricane, you might die. Uh, all of the other natural uh, disasters That's why I be feeling planet. like that's the smoothest the place to live. Like, exactly. That's why I said where y'all at. That's probably the coolest because you can deal with the snow. Yeah. All these Get other places... Shovel. Motherfucker, your car probably gets snowed in or some shit like that. But other than that, that like shit, that it ain't don't. it ain't it ain't really killing motherfuckers out that way because motherfuckers know, like man, when the snow come, they Luckily. everybody know how to move. Get you a nice ass coat, get you some gloves, get you a, a hat, some boots, and get it in. <coughs> hey, down Dry here, slow. Look down here, we got like a big car culture. So <laughs> I've always imagined the snow being a place that I can't have a fly car. Can yeah. I have a yeah. fly car Hell there? Yeah, it's yeah, neat yeah. fucking nice ass cars because it just snow like in the winter time. So what I gotta put the nice car up in the winter time? Drive. Yeah, it's over for that motherfucker. You don't want to drive that motherfucker because you might slide into something because mm -hmm. it's exactly. so slippery. The ice is like street will get icy as a bitch. So you you know you could you gotta know how to drive on that shit. Like if you niggas doing like sixty through the snow, sixty through seventy through the snow. Like bro, don't you see it? Slippery as like a motherfucker. You, and on see, bald tires, niggas ain't changing. That takes a different type of shit. discipline <laughs> that everybody doesn't have. And in all the other places that have a natural disaster, they don't have that. They, Miami, it ain't snowing. Well, Texas has that, but snow is their natural disaster. Uh, right. All the, A place like this that has earthquakes, nigga, we never have to put our Mercedes up. You never. You're not putting shit up. In none of these places, you're driving them 20. The dead of winter, you're wearing shorts, and it's hot enough to go with no shirt. So I think uh, that's Shit. probably what keeps people in their Texas locations. Is, it, Hell, yeah, I don't even wear a shirt in Texas. As soon as I, I touch down scorching. there, like, yeah, Texas be hot as fuck. Scorching, I'm talking about 105 and shit. Yeah, and, and then the humidity 12 is terrible out 11 there. 11 o'clock in the morning, I never knew. 100 degrees. But like, you know what? what I do like about Texas? Being a California person, hmm. man, I rode around. I rented me a 
a fucking Jag off of Turo, and it had a motorized pop trunk on my key. Man, two days of being there, man, my Mexican partner gave me a mini Draco, and he was like, man, you can walk around with that. And I was like, man, hell no. He was like, man, you could take that in 7-Eleven and go buy a blunt. And I'm thinking, man, I'm fucking... I'm fucking black, man. If everybody in California sees that, what happened to Snoop? Oh, he got shot in 7-Eleven. He walked in there with a Draco. I guess he was trying to, like, nigga, you got what you deserve. So my boy walked in there with the Draco around his neck. Nigga, he bought some blunts. He came right out. I couldn't believe it, man. Uh, exactly. Because California has no nothing. Nigga, I would get 75. No, I wouldn't even get jail time. The police would shoot me dead. If they just happen to see me casually carrying a Draco, walking somewhere, nigga, they're going to shoot me from yeah. behind. They're not going to no try lines. to arrest yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, it's the wild, wild west in Texas. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> exactly. And that's the part I like. That's the part I like. Nigga, in you California, like Milwaukee too. If, you, if you shoot a nigga that's in your car breaking in it, nigga, you're going to jail. Yeah, for sure. You ain't supposed to have you're to going to jail. But in a place like Texas, I can shoot that nigga dead in the car and call the police mm -hmm. and just go on about my goddamn business. For sure. I like that part of the law that you guys have. You're open carry too, right? Uh, Y'all not open yeah, carry? Yeah, open carry. On Milwaukee, yeah, for sure. Okay, I was about to say, <laughs> God damn. No, hell yeah. CCW, open carry. Okay. Yeah. No, you know, but shit. You have a better street justice yeah, when you have sure. laws like that. People tend better to gun stay. Law system. Exactly. People that tend to stay in their that place. Shit ain't helping the streets, man. They got switchies everywhere, and you don't supposed to have that on a gun. So guess what? You are automatically mm. disqualified. Yeah, I'm saying it keeps well, people in their places way. when they know you'll shoot the shit out of them. Like, people act. Well, maybe you guys grew up with it, so you don't know it. But, like, here, a lot of people act out of character because some people just feel like, man, you're not going to kill me. You're not right, going right, to go to jail right, and right. throw your life away. But in these places, nigga, I can kill you. Man, yeah, <laughs> just, your eyes getting dropped. They gonna put, put your down. eyes right up under there. Like, man, <laughs> dude was playing the hell out of crazy. <laughs> put him under the table. Like, man. And Bring that's... Him. That's a bonus when you come from a place that'll fry you from defending yourself. It, it trap you though, cause like every prank, five out of every ten are failing, so you already disqualified. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it really, it really okay. it do. It's, it's yeah. a setup. Okay, real, I get so it. Like, I get it. That's how they keep the balance. Okay, like, but it ain't no self defense law neither. So you know what I'm saying? Like, so if you a felon. And you kill a motherfucker and they was rightly wrong, you still going to jail. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, so it's, uh, a, it's a win lose. Shit, if you kill a motherfucker and they was rightly wrong with your shit and you ain't a felon, still gonna get fucked over. Right. No self defense law. So you damn is it set up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. It's setting your ass up to fail either way. So That's bullshit. I didn't know you. that. I thought Hell when yeah. motherfuckers was open care, I had a whole different idea like of in it. Texas is like that. You I think in man? Texas it is like that. Like it's like a cartoon. Law. You say yeah. it's like a cartoon. Just smoke you. Smoke you a motherfucker. Like, already, yeah, yeah, Florida's like that. Yeah. You can just smoke you a motherfucker in Florida too. Hell yeah. I was there for a while. Ah, that's a cool place. I didn't want to live there though. I I, I didn't want to live there. They got uh, hurricanes and shit. That shit's scary. Just plenty of water. Like water. And, and that's something I can't accept. Because they have too many hurricanes. Yeah, yeah. It's not like some of the times. These niggas are flooded all of the time. Uh, I watched uh, fucking Jim Jones crying on the internet about how bad it was. I'm like, come on, Jimmy. It was like this way before you moved down there, man. When you were in New York making music, these niggas. York. Exactly. This shit was flooded. Down. You can't go over there and fight nature. <laughs> like, I know you're oh, popular, but goddamn. What you talking about? Yeah, you might as well grab a jet ski, man, and go out there and ride this shit out. Yeah, because you ain't fighting that water. I don't care what you talking Those about. are the real people from Florida. Nigga, everybody's crying in the house like a bitch, and you got people out there with a fucking canoe, pedaling, loving it all. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, what could you do? That shit come washing through. Like, tall as a bitch. <laughs> Wave tsunamis and shit, man. Mm. Fuck that. I would really just take the snow. Uh, I think about life. I 
where to take the snow. Yeah, out of all of line line, I, I read, and I'm not from there. I don't even know about the snow, but it just sounds like a better deal on the table. It does. But does it count as uh, something to be? Well, yeah, for the people on the outskirts of the city, yeah, it burns down their houses. Yeah. That's like a white people problem, so I never think about it. (laughs) (laughs) For real, it doesn't come up as a a natural disaster. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my, my. I don't live out where uh, houses (laughs) get burned down. I'm in the inner city. The fucking fire truck is coming quick. (laughs) That shit. I feel like people set the motherfuckers. We We saw close to Canada, like, like you know what oh, I'm saying? That's, that's Canada smooth. had a Canada had a fire. That shit was coming into Wisconsin. Had the, the date middle of the daytime, like his so rain or something. You said shit. you're close to Canada. So what side of you? I know Detroit is like right there. Are you on sure. the other side of where Canada is? On the other side of Detroit, or are you hella close to Detroit too? We on the left. Side it's like of it's like it's like Lake Michigan separate uh, us from. From Detroit. from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So they got Lake Michigan, we got Lake Michigan. Okay, you know so, and then Canada sits right there, so everything it's around like, there is just like... Lake Michigan, Wisconsin, Detroit. In the middle of that, it's the water. On top of us, it's Canada. You know, Canada, the whole country, so that motherfucker big. Yeah, okay. But if you drive straight up Wisconsin, you're going to go to Canada. Yeah, like, Canada like five hours away. It's like in Detroit. Went to Detroit. We was from like, Milwaukee, but just if you probably go to Green Bay or some, or the Packers play, that shit probably like two hours away. Two you know hours. what I'm saying? Yeah, it was in exactly. Detroit. An hour away or some crazy the bridge shit. at Canada. Like damn, like right, this is little as water. It ain't little, but it's, it's little. It's little. Yeah, but exactly. That's where we stayed at in there, Detroit. Canada, exactly, like, like right there, nigga. We almost went there, and uh, all the people in the car except me. Had like clean records or whatever, and they were saying you like nigga, exactly. And that was the thing. It's a bridge right there, and these dudes are like, man, we should just go there. And I'm like, nigga, if you guys are going over, there, I'm gonna have to walk like on the freeway because once you cross that bridge, nigga, you're in fucking Canada, no, nigga. And they were like a tunnel or something. You go under that tunnel, they right there. Like, yeah, you ain't getting so through. they let like, you. There. They let you through. It's coming out. Or whatever, that's the fucking problem. And I was like, man, you guys are fucking joking. We can't possibly just, we came to Detroit. Why are you thinking about going to Canada? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, we're not going to meet Drake, Drake over there. Exactly, huh? This nigga has to meet us at the fucking door. I think Canada probably a good place, though. Like, you know, they probably got Oh, some if you're hoods. one of them, yeah. They probably got some hoods out there, but I, 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 love, to, I love to go to Canada. Sorry. Great <laughs> I love yeah. it Canada. I don't even think he shot that bitch, man. I swear <laughs> to God, I just don't. I don't feel like he shot that bitch, man. But whatever, we ain't gonna talk about that. He like five foot. She like that six, bitch big as hell, man. Man, that like bitch five foot. She like six six. She man. probably man, but he got he got good. man strength though, man. Man yeah, strength she, goes a long way, man. I didn't. From, she from Texas. Dating him, fucking tall Texas, glass of water, man. man. It's that part of the day where that Trish kicking in, like, hey. Mm. <laughs> it should taste so late. <laughs> man, every time I try to put the cup down, I gotta just pull it. Like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. Like, man, <laughs> I'm a little lazy, Trish. My fault. I ain't got lazy. Man, I had a nigga named Waki DM me about that line. He was like, man, who is that? Or whatever. Straight off the, I ain't, I'm on shit, so I ain't lazy. Like, man. Yeah. Keep pulling up. See what you do. Man. You gonna be out of there. What inspires me perk, to get a soda. Perk 90. <sighs> <laughs> Put you down, clown. Oh, park some serious, man. Them park some serious. Hoes love them parks. Yeah, I love them. love them parks. They they like Hennessy, man. Bitches, uh, they wonder about this honey pack. And it's like, bitch, all you need is give a nigga a perk, man. It's gonna work better than that honey pack, bitch. They just don't know it. Probably if they don't have they you don't barking in that pussy. Exactly. Hell oh, yeah, man. Probably not for niggas who abuse them. My bitch, uh, if you just randomly just take that one for you, gonna knock her I'll, socks off. Like, I man. wonder, like she'll like she knows about this lifestyle, but she don't like. 
I wonder sometimes, like, damn, does she know some of my best performances have been when I've been off one of these perks and high off this juice that you hate? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a performer. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, on, you wouldn't hate this episode. perk and this juice if you really knew that on that night, that on this night and that night yeah. and this night, like, nigga, my I was on be talking drugs. about she hate when I'm off of that, cause, off the juice, because I be talking crazy, like, man. I don't want to be bothered. Like you get after irrit- certain, you're real after irritable. Certain- I swear to yeah, God, it like. makes the truth come out. Yeah. Like for only, real. Only people don't irritate you is people drinking lean with you. Like, if, oh my! Them niggas they don't irritate you because they know what's going exactly. on with you. Exactly, like, and they're on the tempo, they, so they know what's going on. Say, like. if it was even probably six of us. By the time this trip's kicked in, man, probably every nigga would be individually on his phone and or quiet, and it'd be a certain <laughs> silence <laughs> that would just be like a coolness uh, or whatever. It's not yeah, going to be a nigga. Or, but, but when a motherfucker, you coming in the house and, and you walking in and motherfuckers trying talking to, to you, you and shit. Because exactly. they ain't like, know no shit. Like, yeah, like, you trying to like, touch like, me. Get in. the fuck away from like, me. Like, you feel me? Just leave me alone. Let me enjoy this real they quick. They move. Exactly. They don't understand. They moving too fast. They talking too much. A nigga that ain't on no drink got the nerve to ask a nigga to hand him something. Uh, you bitch ass nigga, I'm not saying like you know uh, goddamn remote. I barely <laughs> gonna move for some shit I want in life. I'm not moving it's like for right you. now. <laughs> That's the move it's some right shit now. I man. wanted to do Hold 30 up. minutes ago that I ain't gonna do, and you gonna yeah, ask no, me I to hand moving. you a phone so charger? Don't really ask me shit. <laughs> don't ask me shit when I'm drinking. Like, man, nah, I'm liable to snap on your ass again. <laughs> Say sorry in the morning, like man, my man. I was stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Blame it on the juice, like man. I was oh, is it bitch? That's like, you should have. I ain't trying you to, to deal with nothing. You like feel how I feel. You just left me alone. Bitch, don't be asking me to fuck if I don't. I, I'm going whatever. I'm going my move right now, bitch. Just to go to sleep, like <laughs> or sit here. She just just sit like go to sleep, like, man. If they only understood. Well, the outside the circle, what it costs to feel like that, then they probably be more inclined. But like, fuck, I can't waste this, man. That was probably mm-hmm. one hundred and eighty-five bucks that one time. If it was a deuce, it might have been three eighty. Yeah, because all the girls, <laughs> all the girls I ever talked to, they oh. hate when the nigga off the lean. Oh, they hate my, when the nigga hate that shit. They really hate that. Hate like, that shit. She like, she just said the other day, like. I wish they um stop making that shit. <laughs> I said I was gonna buy lean. She said I told you not to do that today. Like, she what? just told me this like two days ago. She was like, I wish they stop making that shit. Like, like man, what's to you? I almost spit my drink. They don't be understanding. Like, bitch, I wish they made more of this shit. <laughs> Hell. Don't be cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it make the world great again. Like, bitch, I'm sipping a $200 juicy, cup. Like, I ain't trying to hear nothing. Don't man. knock this motherfucker. I'm protecting this motherfucker. Like, man, it used to be times with Glass Tech. Oh, my dad, mama, that shit was $10 a line. So, niggas would put, like, a foe in a regular ass soda. And it'd be, like, a $40 soda. And we'd be like, oh, yeah, bitch, a little $50 soda. Because... That was something then. Fifty dollars yeah, on a soda was something. Like this ain't I'm not drinking alcohol. It's bitch. Like they made it so I might drink fake two popular. of popular. Exactly. And then it go to the level where you at now is like, bitch, this is four hundred dollars. Yeah. And I yeah, do this shit. Like, head gonna walk out with the script four for twenty five bucks times a whole week. pint. A whole pint, twenty bucks. You do this shit four or five times a week and sometimes twice a day. Yeah, sometimes they just that end up was pouring up pints for a hundred dollars a walk. Man. Uh, like mm. real walk pints, hundred dollars a pint. Oh yeah, real. when you connect it closely to the streets, it's way cheaper. When yeah, you yeah. connect it really closely to when the streets, when it through it's, ten hands, then oh yeah, then you're gonna be taxed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Slapped over the head. <laughs> but some niggas really having this shit. They mm. pay that shit just to do it. Like and niggas really that pay that shit because they like, man, you ain't you ain't sipping like this. Mm. You ain't sipping no four hundred, five hundred dollar soda, nigga. Mm-hmm. You ain't. Nigga, you mm-hmm. sipping green, nigga. You gonna yep. turn into a turtle, man, for real. So and then after a you. while, you really need the shit. So yeah. now it gets bigger than you. Even when niggas walk away from it for a little while, nigga, your body actually needs the shit. So it'd be a time where you like, 
nigga, I don't give a fuck about this 400. I'll spend mm-hmm. 800 on it, nigga. Fuck it, I want a pint. I'm going to spend 3000 so I don't have to feel yeah. like this again. It just comes and For goes real. in waves where it's like they yeah. don't ever want to feel like this again. But then you can get a good dosing of it and like, all right, I need to chill for a little while. But yeah, yeah. it comes and goes. I be off and on with my little drinking habit. Like sometimes I drink heavy. Like, man, I got to have this shit every day. Then I just go cold turkey. Like, man, hold up. Exactly. That's where I'm at. I uh, For years. That's the only way I've been able to stay afloat with a habit like that. It's sometimes where it takes me to like. The depths of my financial life where I mean you gotta get together, you finna fall off. And then other times where it's like I really don't care about it for a while mm-hmm. and get back that shit into be it. Up, nigga. You done sit five yeah. lines, nigga. That's a G. Man. Like, man, I done po the five this week, man. Or shit. Some niggas po that shit in a day, like, man. Niggas niggas keeping up niggas out here dumping, trapping hard as a bitch just to get high. Man, mm-hmm. during the pandemic, man, me and my boy Keith probably went on a run. Man, we sipped a G wagon in probably like a month and a half, nigga. Shit. We sipped a G wagon. Like it was during the pandemic though. So for money people that was, was around it, money was a Oh my god. Yeah. Nigga, a thousand dollars was like two a thousand dollars felt like like a hundred. Trump like Trump a scamming motherfucker, bro. Like he just Hunting. came with that shit like he a scamming motherfucker like Let he getting money happen. ass nigga so he like I'm finna figure out a way to put some money out here you I'm pretty sure he got rich off of that shit I'm exactly sure everybody that got was rich exa- off of that that's shit that's exactly what I was about to say this he gets a lot of credit it. because a lot of street people that probably never seen 40,000 in their face all at once they got to see it probably three times in one week like some of these niggas had like a million dollars worth of money on cards so I got some homies that because of their lifestyle, maybe some too many gang tattoos on their face, they might not never work. And these niggas during that time had 180,000. They're in Louis and Gucci getting wine, getting treated with class. So that part was great. I felt like, nigga, it was damn near like street reparations. Because a lot of people that probably would never in their life taste success, they taste it during that time. But Trump gets a lot of credit. He, I fuck with him. He gave us that. But what people... Don't count in is what you just said. At the top, like, we got it at the bottom. We got our 100000 or whatever. Nigga, they stole millions. Mm-hmm. They stole millions. We just got away with them crumbs at the bottom, but hit them level of people they, stole they millions. Hundreds. Millions, hundreds millions or whatever. And we got That's what we got in the trillions streets. Trillions in debt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they, they seen back in the in office debt. like, Some man, these shit. niggas don't even know that. That money we giving them ain't shit. Exactly. Yes. Oh, my mama. And then you had a lot of people that were scared to get it. A lot of people that were scared to get it. That's why you seen so many people hating on the internet. And I then when it was gone, no money everybody the was uh, no. fucking pissed. Like, I, I was just like, like, I ain't getting no money, like, no free money. It's just like, it was just out here, though. Like, so niggas yeah. spending money like a motherfucker. So exactly. like, no matter what you're doing, what, whatever product you had, you was dumping at that time. Exactly. Motherfuckers, it's so much money out here. They just spinning and spinning and spinning every day. Like, bro, exactly. Let me, get, let me get two zips. Like, man, this nigga used to, he only come for three fives. Yeah. You know I mean? It turned up everybody's hustle. Mm-hmm. So, it, yeah. It's, and exactly. It's intensified shit out here. Yeah. You can hell come do yeah. that shit again. Shit was probably less peaceful. Probably murders went down. Man, all type of shit. They had to cut it Crime. off. They had to cut it off, though. Because the value of the dollar was getting so low. Yeah. I was like, God damn. Like, nigga, money is turning into nothing. This that economy will shit. be. Exactly. We had to get it back to That's why to it's so high now. Inflation, no. Yeah. Nigga, you had motherfuckers that uh, hated on stuff like juice. When niggas here in the streets, y'all paying what for 200 for one soda pop? Nigga, you had motherfuckers that during the pandemic, after three days, turned into professional juice sippers, mm-hmm. <laughs> where, where they were buying it up all. So yeah. now the real niggas has been doing this forever. They've drove up the value on them, and it's making it hard because the niggas are really fucked with you. It's like, man, I'd rather sell it to a square for three times more yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So it was a basically, I'm saying it was a lot of niggas in the way. Yeah, it was. Sure. <laughs> Like, that was smooth, though. <laughs> that was smooth, though, because, like, a lot of niggas who ain't never had no paper, they got to 
a chance to get some papes. So exactly. I, I, I fuck with that. Like, yeah, I always spoke pro for it the whole time. That was another thing, like the tris. Like when everybody was on the internet hating on it, I always was telling motherfuckers, like, man, you talking like that because you were scared to go get you some, man. For niggas that was already having paper, <laughs> I understand completely why niggas didn't want to fuck with it because if you already doing something and you getting away with it, why go fuck with this white collar shit and end up getting caught? When you had a whole bunch of movement already. See, it really be but about the For the pride. people that had nothing, you better go get you some motherfucker because you probably never have a chance like this. It really ever be about again. the price of shit, Snoop. Like, once motherfuckers see shit got a lot of value, or oh, it, it's gold now. Like, like man, this shit probably started at $100, $125. Then they like, man, this shit worth. 200 so shit we gonna sip it because this the thing to do this the expensive thing to do motherfuckers just want to do the expensive thing to do that's why why you think uh gucci and louis like louis never come down on a price or nothing bro but they got they got the most expensive shit yeah that's what motherfuckers gonna go to like man yeah. this is this is exquisite motherfuckers want to live a good life like, and that's how you show you living it through yeah. their products yeah, like you got like, the latest Gucci, you got the latest Louis, or you yeah. you don't see it. no nigga yeah. with no no billion dollars living in no apartment. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, little ass five hundred dollar a month apartment. Like why? Yeah, exactly. What's the point of that? I want to I, I want to live good. I want to live. Have a sh- yeah, luxury yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, so all this other shit is not considered living good. You feel me? Yeah, so definitely. Just like just like the drink, like you know what I'm saying? Green ain't considered living, living good. good. Yeah. All right. Like man, the there's times, but there's times where, man, I'll drink that shit proudly, too, because I know damn well, like, yeah, niggas, niggas is too. really sipping. Man, you I can't spend 5000 every I, month on I'll drink. So. I drink it, but I swear to God, my big brother and them, they will not drink that shit, bro. I know yeah, they will not drink, drink that shit. They'll literally yeah. really spend that, that 500 a month type shit. Yeah. Downtown. Man. I'll drink yeah. it to stretch, get through sometimes. I ain't uh, can't drink wrong, it consistently because it, it fucking doesn't have the codeine, so it gives your stomach the bubble. So you can't, nobody can consistently drink that. It just rips up your stomach no, just do, to get through the moments. <laughs> yeah, some people do. <coughs> yeah, some people, they, they just risk it all or whatever. That's like the bottom of the barrel. <coughs> or whatever. But, uh, yeah, there's always those motherfuckers. You got some people that's going to pop a perk, and you got some of these motherfuckers that's going to snort it or yeah, smoke it sure. or smoke it. It's yeah. always those other uh, motherfuckers. I say preference on what that want to be. Yeah. I, don't, I don't judge people. Do what you do. Nah, not at all. I used to judge. I did, <laughs> nigga. On accident. <laughs> nigga, on accident, for real. Nigga, every now and then, my uncle in the past, he would like ask me for money. And in the beginning, I used to give it to him, nigga. He was on some upstanding shit. Well, anyways, he ended up being all the way jayed out. And sometimes he would just knock on the window and ask me for money. And I would be like, man, I don't want to give it to him because I know what you're going to do with it. And then I thought about it. Like, it's been so many times he gave me money. But I felt yeah. like it didn't mean anything because I was only smoking weed with it. So I you felt like my drug thing. was exa- that's what I had your, to come to grips with. Dumbed down. Exa- but that's yeah, what I had to come to grips difference. with. After I thought, I'm like, damn, I it's can't really do though, that. It, you smoking but it's crack kind of and I'm same. smoking weed. That's different. But, it kind of is, but it ain't. Like, exactly. High though. But the love is still the same because he gave me money for me to buy my drug. So why should I turn him down? For money when he needs for his drugs, so I end up like without this pussy. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I, so. I can live with them. They got pussy this. walking up and down, bitch and that yeah. all day. You should have probably gave me this a month and a half in, man. It just lured me, <laughs> lured me in, like like she just, just showed me you was a good person. <laughs> 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 So you a exactly. real woman. Like, exactly. Man. I would have hung around just for that. Like, fuck like it. She it ain't person. my favorite, but it's there. Like, I don't she like McDonald's, right but when I'm that. hungry, like, man, I'm going to pull up to that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, it's like, right there, man. I'm going to McDonald's. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm not just going to be hungry. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. You want something, though? Yeah. Give me a Big Mac in that pussy. Uh, <laughs> you try it again. Like, oh, shit. Baby, these yeah. hoes be fooling. 
Because three months, what is that? That's the 90 day. That's the Walmart version. That's what they're doing with the pussy. Like, you go to Walmart, nigga, or any Target or any of these fucking jobs, that's like 90 day probation, probation but, period. But listen, hoes got so many options because of the internet. They post a nice little picture. They got so many options. They like, they feel like they could play. Like, Man. like everybody wants you. It makes me sad to think about all the bitches. All the bitch has to do is post one of them kind of pictures you're talking about, and you're literally probably gonna have thirty seven niggas that are saying ridiculous stuff in there. They're ready about to pay 20, for shit. 000. They're ready to fucking do all of this backwards ass shit. So it puts the bitch's ego so high up in the world that it just got them nice on the moon too. where they just think. Something way different about this average ass pussy, because you know that internet, like you said, man, it's, it's some crazy motherfuckers that will pay crazy amounts, crazy amounts, nigga. Girl. These motherfuckers will get these bitches two and three thousand and not just get no of, pussy, just, think about just to how, hang around the bitch for the weekend, and just they don't think even about get how Drake no pussy. And them is Boston Richie and them young uh, Gunner man, they buying yeah. big shit, like you feel me. Exactly. This bitch live in an apartment. Drive a yeah. old ass Honda. They don't even know that. They just seen the picture. Like now they done fronted this bitch whole new lifestyle. Off exactly. of just how she look. Exactly. Oh my mama. Oh my mama. And that's why I say when you getting into those months, because the same bitches that'll make niggas wait those months, if they get even close to a situation like that, they giving up the pussy immediately. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Just because it's like, nigga, I got to put it out there. This nigga's not going to play no games with me or whatever. So if you're going to do that for those kind of niggas or whatever, don't play with me like that at all. Mm -hmm. Like, for real, because that's exactly like. But it's all about what you want to do, though. So exactly, so at the end exactly. Of the day, if, if you feel like this is worth it. That shit worked it for you, then. Exactly. Because there's only so many motherfuckers that you're going to meet that you can love. And some motherfuckers that you meet, you love, they deserve any of that. Money ain't shit over love. So if you really feel like that, nigga, it's only some paper. The same way the niggas will buy some Gucci shoes. Nigga, like, sure. buy what the fuck you want. And shit, like, all the tests, for real. Yeah. Motherfuckers just seeing how far they can go. That's all. Yeah, for real. Especially with them. Especially with the hoes. Bitch, don't see how far you can go with me, bitch. Give me that exactly. pussy because... You can't let them keep... Because then they going to keep testing Interscope. the lines. Interscope. Interscope could call tomorrow, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he went with an attitude. Universal or something call tomorrow. Universal, man. Interscope, QC, call tomorrow, bitch. I'm going to be acting different. Like, right, man, listen. I, I got to go. I got to go to the show in Miami. And, and it's big yeah. right now for me. And then they <laughs> going to be acting big. different. And yeah. that's where it all feels fake. Because the minute damn. that they see the QC called and you're doing that nigga, all that yes. other bullshit that was going on before, it's over. It's over. Not They're fucking, fucking wide yeah, open. Like, nigga trying I'm to give you everything. Everything. Because they know where you're going. I don't know if I come to the door in the row. Like, and that's what I was saying earlier. Down. Man, I know y'all don't. Y'all some humble niggas. Y'all definitely some humble niggas. I know y'all don't know it, but I just feel like, nigga, who you guys are, nigga, y'all got a head start to the pussy. You have a head start to the pussy because you're building a career, man. You're separate from the average motherfuckers that's going to try to go after their pussy. So motherfuckers, these bitches, <laughs> is going to keep a certain eye on you waiting, just hoping that QC does call. Yeah, and they sure. are the ones that are around to be able to be like, man, I was here from the beginning. So uh, you don't have to work as hard as the average motherfucker as far as it comes to pussy because you work so hard in your career and other lives where shit like that kind of comes with it. But they just want to make sure they're locked in. No, for sure. They're trying to secure going. a spot. It's, oh, my mom. They, they want to secure my it. Mama, and that's you better secure that motherfucker the right way, cause uh, <laughs> this coke could call tomorrow, man, for real, like man. You know, shit, just, they're right man. around the corner from calling, man. They're oh, right shit, around they the call. corner from calling, man. You're fucking. Oh, you guys are hot. Music comes in zones, man. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, I didn't watch so many fucking 
music uh, waves that I've been a fan of. I was a fan of Gucci Man from the beginning. I fucked with Young Jeezy. I fucked with uh, a lot of motherfuckers, man. Cash Money in the beginning. I've seen all these waves, uh, Wu Tang in the beginning grow. And I told him jokingly, I was like, man, you niggas is cash money all over again, man. Y'all got a wave. It's a sound down there, man. And, uh, Shit, they y'all need finna to gonna blow. Wrap that motherfucker up. It will, man. Y'all work hard at it, and the city work hard at it. It'll just be like what it happened for Detroit, I swear. That oh, wave sure. is just going around the world. Mm-hmm. It was here in L.A. It was in the Bay. It was in Atlanta. Uh, it's in Detroit now. It's a few places I'm forgetting in a Texas. Memphis had had like a motherfucker right now. Memphis had it. Uh, Florida. Nigga, yep. Like a lot of states I'm forgetting about. It's a wave. And it gets down to detail. Who would have ever thought that Memphis would have it? Like if you looked at the hip-hop perspective over the world, never, never you would have thought a place like that. And once niggas smell and know what's going on down there and the no, music is reflecting around. it. Who's shicey open that door? Look. Cause motherfuckers like, man, Pooh Shiesty down there acting bad. Yeah. So motherfuckers like me got niggas wearing masks and everything. Ever since Pooh Shiesty. Exactly. Those masks are really called the Pooh Shiesty. I swear to God. That's all I call them. I, if you see niggas like, man, there's four niggas over there in them Shiesty's. You know something is up. I swear to God. That shit wild. Wow. And that's another thing. And that's whether you listen to his music to or movement, not. It's movement, man. It's that's movement. Whether you listen to his music or not, niggas know that that mask is called a Pooh Shiesty mask. Motherfuckers that ain't heard a song from him know that uh, yeah, that's that mask. That city up because he made motherfuckers look like all it takes is one motherfucker to kick in the dough. Exactly. Because then people lust for certain small things like your accent, your ad libs. That's what people are not knowing. And y'all have those. Y'all have those in tune. And it's just once they smell it, they're going to fucking latch on to that. That's realness. You can't fake that. You can't. I know when I hear you, uh, I know it was either some fire right before that or it's coming right after that. Huh. I love when this nigga do that in the songs, man, or whatever. That wave is it's going to come down there. It's going to come down there. And uh, even if it comes after you, after y'all, nigga, you guys are at the forefront of that. At the forefront, like forefathers of uh, leading that wave down there, I swear. Nigga, I'm starting to see all kind of videos on YouTube about Milwaukee. Swear to God. Swear. Shit. Swear to God. Yeah, we got Damian Lillard. We got fucking Giannis. Shit. We got the Packers. So it's like... That motherfucker just getting litter and litter. They spending more money to make our downtown look better. So, you know, they cause cause they know it's coming too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's dry for I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure the people up in at the little Congress building there are like, man, the music scene is getting better too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty yeah. sure they somebody mentioned the music scene. Like somebody got to. Yeah. You, can't so you come there it. trying to sign Giannis, like, oh yeah, we got a, a popping music scene and we got a, this, we got that. I'm already knowing it because yeah, it, yeah. it just come all with it. Nigga, you going to make fucking shot by, what will say shot by DH? You going to make him famous, nigga, because all of the fire DH, songs I like starts DH, with DH that already, shot by DH. DH are already be going places, and they be like, man, let me get a picture. Let me get a picture. He yeah. taking pictures. The cameraman taking pictures. I'm yeah. the G. Nigga, for real, my mom, I'm not making this up, man. My boy... The other day, nigga, like two nights ago, a young one was in here, and it just happened to come on in the background. Shot by on my dead mama. He was like, oh, oh yeah, that comes on on all the songs when I be road running. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for real, he said that. Like, he knows that or whatever. Like, for real. I'll make mm-hmm. that nigga famous. Shout out DH. Yep, hell yeah, oh, DH. You're fucking, that, that uh, shout out is on the fucking intro of a lot of my favorite songs that starts off like that. Mm-hmm. Shot by DH. Yeah. That's my boy. I fuck with DH because he always come through like motherfucker like that he helped me get to where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Just as well as I help him. Yeah. Cause he coming through with them fire videos and he pulling up 
A fucking nigga like him won't even ask me for no money. He'll just be like, he just shooting them motherfuckers. It ain't even really for no clout or nothing, bro. Really fuck with you, like, you feel yeah. me? No, he see the vision. When motherfuckers get around a great motherfucker, they see the vision. Man, they can say whatever about Kanye. And I seen them niggas that made that documentary that have been filming this whole time. And, it's like, when I seen... It, it wasn't really about him. It was just them motherfuckers met a person that they thought was great and just did what they felt like was some great shit to document or whatever. And shit, 20 years later or whatever, what was that footage worth or whatever for them niggas just literally like they seen something they believed in. Mm-hmm. It's motherfuckers, man. You casting out, y'all making this music, you're casting out this big ass net and uh, you're making people believe in it. It's a yeah. big ass, it's like your fish. I believe in this shit, man. This shit fire, bro. I man. sit back at 20 a line. I love Quagan. Like, who don't want to wear this shit? <laughs> man. It's you some know how niggas. People just DM me about this fucking hat, bro. Man, it's some niggas that don't know what Quagan is. They uh they don't understand what the I sit back at 20 a line. It means the world to me because I literally watched that shit, man. Be from two to twenty five hundred and eighty dollar yeah, yeah. pints, two hundred dollar pints, two fifty, three hundred, four hundred, nigga to nigga twenty thousand. I see you got buffs on this shit. Uh, yeah, fucking around out here, man. Just dropping in at all these different places and states, man. You smell what niggas is cooking, man. Fucking good ones too. Grab them. Yeah, and I didn't even know it was the Holy Grail like that until I got down here. I grabbed some. I mean, until I got down there, and niggas was like, nigga. Uh, it really ain't, like, at, at the crib, it really faces. ain't, like, niggas really, like, niggas just got them motherfuckers. Like, we saw, we've we been wearing Cardi's forever. Niggas exactly. daddy was wearing Cardi's, so it's shit, like. Second nature. Like, but, like, like, to a nigga coming up in the city, like that's his that's like you you ain't never had no money like that's your first purchase like bro I gotta get some yays like I have to get some yays like yeah. after you done had so many period you like man this shit I'm gonna I'm gonna get these bitches regardless I know how they coming but when you young and you on to come up like first thing you gotta yeah. do is grab some yays like if you a little nigga out there getting money from where I'm from you getting you some yays. Yeah, I was seeing in the videos, and I was like, man, that's a culture thing for them, too. And down here, a lot of motherfuckers that fuck with it, uh, fuck with the music, so that's how they up on them. Nigga, the first pair that I came across, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I came up on them and didn't even know what the motherfuckers were. He must see, sell them to him for the low. I forget what he sell them to him for. Just say he yeah. sell them to him for like 500. Mm-hmm. Then we at the barbershop the next day, the nigga, like, he pull up to the barbershop, Trying to uh get his shit back, trying to get his money back. And mind you, these my brother glasses. My yeah. brother finna give them back. I'm like, hell no, nah, nigga, you can't do that shit, nigga. Yeah. This, uh, standing on his car, all type of shit. I'm mad as a bitch at the nigga, trying to fight the nigga. Yeah. He, and it was so crazy. My brother got them fixed. I got them on. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, shit, nigga, you ain't taking these, nigga, for me, bro. Let me wear these motherfuckers. You hear yeah. me? Exactly. <laughs> my baby. So I, I, I hand the glasses to my barber, like, man, hold these. Because he ain't yeah. getting these. And, and we finna see what he trying to do for him real quick on my baby. Yeah. This <laughs> yeah. shit shit yeah. real life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nigga, I was, we had an OG around, so me and this nigga arguing at the type of our lungs, and my OG come around. He like, nigga, you supposed to do your research on what you had before you made a deal, yeah, man. You like, supposed nigga, to the same way I go on it. no deals. Yeah. Like we in the streets. That same nigga, bro. I I don't gamble with him or nothing, bro. My same nigga, bro. I love him to death. Love him with all my heart, bro. Nigga. We 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 riding down uh, Water Street is in, like downtown somewhere in our in our city. So we riding down Water Street. He bet me like uh, he like uh, we like man. He like that Benz was fat. I'm like nigga, that was a Beamer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like that wasn't no Beamer. He like bet a hundred dollars. I'm like all right, say no more because I'm so confident. I yeah. love cars. I'm like nigga, yeah. that was a Beamer, nigga. Yeah. I bet the hundred dollars. So we turn around. Boom. <laughs> it's a beamer. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. What's so crazy? Then we ride and he gave me my he gave me my hundred. Like yeah. he honored the bet. I'm like, cool. You feel me? 
So then we laughing, smoking and shit. I'm like, bro, you know what's so crazy, bro? I only had $99 on me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like, oh, hell no. <laughs> he like, you ain't even have enough to place the bet. <laughs> Give me my money back. Oh, I'm like, bro. I'm like, bro, my brother's sitting right in the front, bro. He could have gave me the extra dollar if I lost. He like, hell no, they don't count. I end up giving, I end up giving it back to him. Oh, I end up giving it back to him. Like, man, fuck it. Like, you know what, bro? We ain't doing nothing with money ever again, bro. We, yeah. we ain't, we, I ain't gambling with you. None of that shit, nigga. <laughs> that nigga snap. Brother snap. Oh, he said you ain't have enough, like. Uh, bro, I had exactly, yeah. bro, I had exactly I gamble, I 99. I, I knew my eyes. That's like, part of gambling. He like, bro, the bet off because you didn't have $100, <laughs> nigga. Fuck. Like, nigga, I had 99, yeah. bro. I really had $99. I'm like, bro, I had $99 on me, bro. Uh, we get the argument. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> my brother like, just give it back to him. Oh, shit. Brody was definitely was going to give me that dollar. Yeah. That was Man. Sure. Hell yeah. He's nah, I know mad. people on the level of that petty. That's why it's funny yeah. as fuck, nigga. Right. Anything to get that hundred back, I mean, nigga. You a lucky motherfucker. I'm probably, I wouldn't ask. Hey, what's up, so crazy? That nigga rich is, that nigga cheap as hell, rich as dog shit, though. Man. That nigga paid 300 for Rod yeah. Wave to come perform. Like, bro, you rich as shit, bro. Down there where y'all at? No, nah, he they, he performed in, uh, I think it was uh, Kentucky. Oh, okay. Maybe it was Kentucky, like Lewis, not uh, Lexington. Lexington. How far is that drive between? Uh, hour 20, hour 30. Oh, my God. That's, that's like close. Chicago. That's like yeah. going to Chicago from Milwaukee. Yeah. That Chicago is that close to? Yeah. An hour? God damn, that's close. No, that's close. Yeah, close. that's why I'm nigga. Like, what? like you come to our city, we don't got no Gucci store, we don't got no Louis, none of that shit. Like, we don't got no, we don't got no Burberry, we don't got none of that shit. We don't got no Valley. No, uh, but you can go an hour away to Chicago. That's what niggas right? do. That's what we do. You get on the freeway and go get fresh. Come back. Damn, I'd be all over that motherfucker. Michigan, nah, hour? Hour less. Nigga, that's closer than San Diego to us. No, Vegas is what? Three Y'all and a half that hours. Shit, that shit, Vegas is like three and a half, four hours. Two left right, you'd be at Gucci. Like, <laughs> an hour here. for a whole other state, that's like fucking, exactly, that's like nothing. Yeah, but motherfuckers don't play over there. Motherfuckers just go there and... Go to Michigan now and get you some clothes and shit. Get right back on the freeway and go home. Probably stop and get some Heralds or something. To eat. And then go right back home. Niggas ain't, Milwaukee niggas ain't playing in Chicago like that. Yeah. Ain't no need to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know nothing. I've been there. I went there one time. I've been to Chicago too. We wasn't really in the streets in the streets though. So I didn't get to like that part of Chicago. I didn't know it was that white, man. You hear fucking Chicago, and you just I'm thinking of all the nigga shit and all of that, and I'm forgetting. Oh, like, Chicago man. big as fuck. Exactly. That motherfucker's so big. Know. That's probably yeah. like top three, four biggest cities. Yeah, that motherfucker was huge. We wasn't in no parts like that. No, all that shit that be happening, that shit be in the side of town. Yeah. We just didn't be, wasn't in that side of town. I thought people that don't see that shit. They just yeah. watching on and the And that's news. what I didn't know. I thought everybody was living in danger there. Like, man, you need a yeah, bulletproof no. helmet to walk around. Uh, Chicago, <laughs> Chicago, Chicago, a nice place. Rich as yeah, hell. I seen it. That's where we were at. Chicago is a nice place. They just they just depicted it out to be so bad, but it's a nice place. Yeah, like, for sure. Milwaukee is not a nice place, like at all. <laughs> the whole yeah, the like, state. Yeah, it's like the whole, no, you know, Wisconsin nice is, is, is the state. Okay, but Milwaukee is just not a nice place. Like you want to have, a good, you want to live nice. You go to Mequon, Germantown, Oak Creek, Butler, like everything on the outskirts. But Milwaukee, oh. the whole city is is like that. The whole Milwaukee, oh, every it looks side, like okay, it has that North, demographic South, look. East, like, like you can go in Chicago, you'll be in a good place in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? They got so many parts of town, but. It's like Milwaukee, it's like the whole shit fucked up. North, south, east, west, it's all fucked up. It's fucked up. Yeah, man. Like, you're going you gonna to get you a high speed. You're going to come there 
You be there about three, four days in, you done seen a high speed. Guaranteed. Like Stolen kid. Uh, nigga yeah. was nigga was, we was at the studio the other day, a nigga was doing them in a lack. Old ass lack. Had six police cars on him. And mm-hmm. I think he won because the police got the scattering error like like they lost him or something. So y'all don't have like we got a lot of soon as a car goes in the chase we got a helicopter. No, so that's what keeps people from really uh, people still man, going chases all the man, time. I was, we was on the internet like a Milwaukee page, man. The, the Kia came on the other side of the street, down the street. The police came on the right side. They ain't even chase that motherfucker. I'm talking about he swerving. They ain't even chase it. Like he ain't gonna let that kid go. Yeah, they knew what it was. Like, it's just bad, bro. Like, streets fucked up. <laughs> Them motherfuckers just. Yeah, Milwaukee all broke up. I could say we the only good part we got is downtown, and that's because they pushed all, like all the niggas from down there because they know how shit going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. That's what they're trying to do around here. This is getting built up. It's getting upgraded. Yeah. They just pushed the niggas out from down there. Like, I think with it. that, that's what turned the west side up so bad because they they start pushing everybody from the little section eight houses down there and start building newer shit and got them motherfuckers running on the west. Okay. West is it. Duck off the north, but I'm off the west and it's like like you were saying that east side had they time. The north side just that north side just slimy as a bitch. bitch treacherous, like you down there. You grew up in that shit. Mm. shit. Like the north side is is slimy, bro. It's like that on the north. Like ain't no telling what can happen to you on the north. Like, like nigga, like me, like the north is like everything low numbers and shit. Like I don't I don't go under sixty. Like man, <laughs> I'm doing everything on the west side. Like I don't gotta go. I don't gotta go no to other. Side of town, like I'm just gonna do this shit right here, right here. Yeah. Right here on the west, like everything on the west. Like ain't no it ain't no reason for me to come down. You wanna see me come to the west? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta move different, man. You guys have a cloud on y'all, so you definitely have to move move differently. Like no, it's just cause I just like I just run that motherfucker like a principal, and and then when I say shit like that, like if I say I run the west like a like a track suit, you feel me? Yeah. Motherfuckers ain't gonna be like, motherfuckers ain't gonna be like, dude, line. Yeah. Like they ain't gonna be like, dude, line, like, cause they know, like, man, dude really made a killing on the west. Like, dude really like, he like that on the west. Like, who yeah. who from the west does like? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even my little niggas, like my niggas be rapping and shit. And my they really in the streets be sliding. They like, bro, can't nobody dispute you run the west, bro. Yeah, can't sure. nobody say you don't run the west, bro. Yeah, like nigga, I put on for the whole west side, bro. Like, be like, man, what's going on over there? That nigga, like, he really like, he really talking about this west side shit. Like, like when I made fuck summer jam, that was probably like four five years ago. Mm-hmm. They like. We went, it wasn't like that, you feel me? But now yeah. it's like everybody talking about they off the west and like yeah. everybody running like I'm <laughs> off the sure. west side. Like, yeah, but like sure. you five years ago, ain't nobody finna be like I'm off the west. Oh, no, I need, I'm off the hood. I'm off 11th and Axon. I'm off the low end, you feel me? Yeah, you, I'm you from do. the north side. Like they like the, cause like they like the west ain't, ain't on shit. Yeah. But I'm like, man, nigga, I'm off the west. Nigga, I got hype land in the snow. They making snow angels. They like, man, yeah. dude is really. Yeah, he making this shit look good up there. Exactly. And now the people want to embrace it. You putting a shine and a man, respect on it. And there's so many niggas it. that claim they off the West. They yeah. getting into it. Other niggas like, man, you ain't off the West. I'm like, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah. And that same nigga that did I did the bet with, he like, bro, you ain't you ain't, he like you ain't off the West. So when he told me that in the car that day when we riding, he said you ain't off the West. I'm like, bro, I'm arguing with you, bro. I'm always yeah. arguing with you about some shit. Yeah, I turned him right up. I turned it right up, like nigga. I'm off the west. I'm the biggest thing on the west, nigga. And he like, uh, <laughs> he he told me like, you one line, bro. Yeah, you one line. Yeah, you did that shit, bro. 
Yeah. You, yeah. I said you wasn't off the West, and you yeah, that, and you showed me, sure. like, nigga, I'm off the West. Yeah. For real. Hell yeah, gave people something to fucking embrace. Hell yeah, fucking bro. Like, 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 bro, you don't gotta, like, you don't gotta be from down there to be, to say you hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Yeah, to be respected. Like, we hood over here, too, nigga. Exactly. Like, this the hood, too. You don't got to, nigga, claim one of these blocks. You don't got to go kick it with them niggas on 40th and Locust to say you you be in the ghetto, nigga. Yeah. You in the ghetto up here, nigga. Say you, say you be on 76, nigga. Yeah. For real, yeah. nigga. I make, make it feel good to claim 76. Like, man. Yeah. Niggas ain't want to be claiming 76 five years ago. Like, 76. Like, hell no. Them niggas ain't no shit out there. And I'm like, man, nigga, I'm popping my shit out here, nigga. I'm 76, yeah. nigga. Mm-hmm. My baby and they ran with that shit. Yeah, put fucking cloud on it. Mm-hmm. My mama cloud. Really cool to do. Yeah. It really ain't no nigga that can say, that can say, what's that? Like, go against that shit. You feel me? Ain't yeah. nobody can be like, man, hell no. Nah. Like, it's everything crazy. I'm saying, facts. Like, any nigga that's going to tell you, bro. You mention the West Side, nigga. You gon' you you gon' you gon' mention me like you a hood, nigga. You in the streets, and you talking about the West Side. They gonna be like, oh, taxing them be up there. Yeah, they might say a few other names now because it's, it's like it grew, but you yeah. know what I'm saying. But they like, like we talking about the West Side, bro. I put on for that motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. There's a documentary I I seen, and it said right when it said the West Side, and y'all the first thing popped up in the gas station. <laughs> Making it look good. I said, I told this nigga, I was like, man, it showed different groups and different kinds of niggas. And right when it got there, it was like, oh shit, that's where the money at, right there. Like, the, <laughs> yeah. like the nigga, if you was wondering who was over here having it, like, look no further. It's these these guys right here. I swear to God. Compared to the other sides that they showed before y'all. Cause it, it get like that on other sides. But South side, they getting a lot of money on the South side. It's just like like you Latinos. Okay. Latinos run the South. You feel okay. me? Okay. They run the whole South. You Latino, you run the South. Yeah. But niggas go over there and trap because it's a lot of white motherfuckers over there too, though. You go get your heads from over there. Yeah. Build you a nice phone on the South side. You feel yeah. me? Because it's a lot of it's a lot of white people spending money on on boy and girl and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I be shitting on their ass like I had to make meet their ass on the south, have them run westbound. That is how they ass coming out west to get that shit. Like, oh yeah, I met you on the south, but you have to come get this shit from the west. Yeah, exactly. Man, white ones like that lady that ran up on the Lambo today. <laughs> yeah, just like her. <laughs> that lady pissed me off. I ain't gonna lie. Just Man. like her. She yeah. felt the vibe, man. I'm telling you. I know how like, it be. Man, there it is right there. Man. She think she something. finna get some. You know, okay. you know, motherfuckers in our city, like, like the white heads, like, automatically think they entitled. Like, you know, like, you try to flag a head down and try to get him to spin with you, try to get his number, like, you got a sample? You know what I'm saying? So, so, <laughs> sample. so. Yeah, like. so so the white heads would be like, you feel oh me? My God. A white head can, this uh, is if, you, if you white, bro, you can go out there and get you some free dope. Like it's every nothing. Day. Every day. Like, because a nigga. Somebody looking every day. Yeah, yeah. somebody looking, bro. If you white, you feel like, oh, you caught, you caught like, because you got a white head. So, and you on this side of town. So you feeling like, man, your shit the best. So you going to give it to them. And they yeah. might just be using you for that day because they real dude. Yeah. Ain't fucking with them right now. All you yeah. gotta, all you gotta do is, all you gotta <laughs> do is be white. Like they do in the mall when they hungry. They just keep walking through the food right. court oh, getting caught. free samples. <laughs> Man, let a nigga, let a nigga that trap see you and you white. He's yeah. automatically flagging you down, trying to get you on his line, and then gave your ass oh. a free twenty, maybe a free gram. Oh, so they recognize He's trapping them. good. They you recognize this the power the of ground. their whiteness. Like, man, he think I'm finna be his. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what they're, uh, they're capitalizing. You might, you might knock him, though. You never know. You might oh, knock him. shit. 
I'm gonna give me a few more freaky samples. Wow. Off. This isn't gonna be far. I commit. Swipe I commit. <laughs> in my city, a motherfucker oh, no, catch you, you swiping. Samples. <laughs> no hell no. Nah. In my city, a motherfucker catch you like trying to catch they they head. Oh, they go down like shots fired. Like motherfucker, don't play about that shit. Oh for like, real? Hell no, nah, they don't play about that shit. Hell no, nah. uh, nigga bust you down for trying to catch his head. Like because motherfucker <laughs> swipe motherfucker, phones. Motherfucker put their head on a low block. You feel me? They feel like they hiding them. You feel me? Yeah. So then I got my head on this low block and they waiting on me, but you pulling up on them saying something, trying to get them to spin with you. Oh, that's grounds to get killed right there. Yeah. Like nigga, don't talk to my head, nigga. This is my livelihood, nigga. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to. You'll take you in about making this. making two G's a day. You take this head, you knock me down to fifteen hundred. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. You ready to do about that? Like that's that's just how they move. Yeah. But you can't. Well, yeah, you can. Well, that's why you have to bust a nigga head down because they know that the heads ain't gonna be loyal. No. They going wherever. Yeah, you uh, might be late. You might been at. late all month. You might been feeling good from last month. You might been uh, slacking all this month. So you like ain't on no time. Motherfucker like, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker Dude like, swiped his ass like it's yeah, here every yeah. time. Yeah. Motherfucker Taking like, 30 minutes, he called other dudes yeah, Dude pulling up. Exactly. Again. Motherfucker pulling up on the white head like, man, I got fire. I'm out here all night. I'm pulling right up. Yeah. You feel me? That's yeah. all they want to hear. You got fire. I'm out here all, all the time. I'm yeah. pulling right up. Lying like a motherfucker. Yeah. That's all they want to hear, though. Like, man, he's pulling right up. I want my guy Jimmy, my guy Joe's pulling right up. Yeah. Like, man, don't even call your guy. Yeah. He's ready to see this shit for real. Yeah. Man, they can smell where y'all going, man. It's a fucking vibe. I love it. I was just, even as a nigga that, uh, if I didn't know y'all personally, what I would just fucking say is just keep fucking going, like. Keep it going. You got motherfuckers out here addicted to y'all sound. I know I am. Man, I'm always, as far as a music fan, I feel like I've always been on shit before the world get on it, and then they end up getting on it later. I swear. Mm -hmm. Y'all on that wave. So, man, y'all just got to fucking keep going, nigga. And it's just fucking the world will be at the palm of y'all fucking hands, man. Shit. The palm. Yep. Well, as you can tell, man, the camera, uh, the Tris has kicked in on all of us. This is a, probably a different vibe of how when we first started recording mm-hmm. or whatever. So uh, with that, man, my two brothers came through here to talk to me, man. Talk to us. Fucking sipping with Snoop, man. We fucking down some Tris, man. I'm real Tris, niggas. Shit real niggas real talk some real from. shit. RRB, SME, man. It's the same thing. Cheap ass. Dumb ass. I'm here on my big brother Snoop, man. Man. And Trish, man. Yeah. When you back, load up on that shit. With more music, more drink, more real shit. For sure. Right, new music out right now. Videos. All that. We back. Back consistent, dropping this shit. It just that's how we come. Man, it was great, man. It well, ain't too late for y'all to catch on. It's here. You're on fire. Have you ever seen NBA jams? Shit. <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Yep. Well, the next time.